Hello everyone, my name is Ivo and welcome to Cooking with the Koyas. Today we're going to make one of my very favorite Italian desserts. It's the classic, the tiramisu. And we're going to do so without any extra added uh, creams. We're going to use your basic ingredients, but it's going to yield fantastic results. So let's get started. Five large eggs separated. So we want the egg whites. We're just going to separate the egg whites from the yolks and the egg whites are going to go into a glass bowl container. We need the glass for the egg whites when we, uh, when we whisk them together. Okay, so we're going to do this to five large eggs. Okay, number five has just been separated. Almost. <laughs> this one needs a little bit of help too, that's okay. All right. Now that we've got our five eggs separated, to the yolks we are going to add, we are going to add a three-quarter cup of sugar. Now you could use white sugar or you could use brown sugar. I personally like to use brown sugar with this recipe, so three-quarter cup of brown sugar it is. And I'm going to add one teaspoon of vanilla, if I can get it open. Okay, and if, if you have real vanilla, by all means, Please use real vanilla. I mean, artificial will work, but real vanilla is always the best. Okay, one teaspoon of real vanilla. In with our sugar and our egg yolks. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna beat this until it blends all together very nicely and forms a ribbon tail. Okay, so it's been about three minutes or so. I got interrupted by a phone call, but it's been about three minutes or so. And when you lift it up and you let it fall, you see how it kind of forms a ribbon tail. It doesn't just drop straight down. That's how you know you've done it enough. But basically, three minutes or so, that's enough. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our mascarpone cheese. And this container happens to be 450 grams, but you can go, they vary in size, but 450, 475, right up to 500 grams. Any one of those three sizes will do just fine. And we're gonna take this mascarpone cheese. The mascarpone cheese is the true tiramisu. Uh, some people use cream cheese, but that is not the real deal. Mascarpone is what really makes this dessert as delicious as it is. And you can find it in most grocery stores, definitely in, a, in anywhere that sells Italian products, they'll definitely have the mascarpone cheese. Okay, I like to get every last ounce out of it. Love the spatula. Does a great job. Okay. And again, what we're going to do, we're going to continue with the blenders and we're going to continue blending this. And we just blend it all together basically until it all comes together about a minute. It's a good idea also, just after you've started, take your spatula and just make sure you scrape the edges because you want that all to mix in very, very nicely. Okay, back to blending we go. It's been about a minute. All our ingredients are now incorporated, which is great. Time to shake the beaters and go with the whisker. What we do next is we whisk our egg whites. That's the next step. And the egg whites, what we're going to do, we're going to whisk these until we can create what we call stiff peaks. And I'll show you what that is. So I'm going to put this on high. It's going to take a few minutes. Been about two minutes and you can see here it's starting to foam up, but it's still very, very liquidy. We got to keep going. Okay, to give you an idea, it's been about five, six minutes and you can see that when you lift this up, it, it's not drooping at all. You get these, what we call stiff peaks. There, you see that one there, how it didn't fall? That's what you want right there. You can over whisk, so you got to be very, very careful, but it's amazing how five egg whites come up with this nice, beautiful, fluffy egg white mixture. Just absolutely love it. Okay, now all we have to do is take our egg whites and we wanna fold them 
into our yolk and sugar uh, mixture. And by doing so, slide it right out of the bowl. And you want to fold it. You don't want to blend this um, or beat it, I, I should say. You don't want to beat it because you want to retain that fluffiness from the, from the uh, egg whites. So you just kind of gently fold it in, fold it over until all the egg whites are incorporated in with the uh, egg yolk mixture. So we're just going to continue to fold this. Eventually it'll all come together and this is going to be our main filling for our tiramisu. That's how easy that is. Okay, keep folding and keep folding. Basically you want you want to see all the white kind of get absorbed. That is pretty much done now. Okay, perfect. I'm going to put that aside. Next step, you're going to need some strong black coffee. And what I did is I like to use espresso. If you're going to have the authentic tiramisu, then you want to use espresso coffee. But if you don't have espresso coffee, by all means, just use regular coffee. And as you can see, I always made a little bit of extra because I already had my espresso. Uh, you got to have fun in the kitchen too while you're cooking. That's what it's all about. So this is a cup and change, just over a cup's worth. You could always make more if you need it. And this part is optional, but again, if you want to continue with tradition, I'm going to now add two tablespoons of brandy in with my black coffee. You could use any other similar liqueur that you want, but brandy always produces the best. Now there's different, different kind of Italian cookies you could use, but I like to use these giant lady fingers. They uh, seem to hold up very nicely. They got a great taste and texture, and I personally prefer to use those. And all you do now is layer the bottom of a bowl with your cookies, but you want to soak your cookies. And I like to drench them right into the, uh, into the coffee and let them soak up the coffee, but not to the point where they're going to fall apart. But you want them saturated with the, with the coffee and then place it into, into your bowl. So same thing. We're going to do this all along. Uh, saturate each one of these and place them right into the bottom of our bowl until the entire bottom is layered. So you can see here I was able to get 10 cookies in this uh, nice container very nicely, fit in there nice and snug. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add some of our mascarpone mixture and we're going to spread it on top of those cookies. And you basically, you know, you want a, you want them all covered. So you don't want it really, really thick and you don't want it really, really thin. If you make it too thin, you're not going to find uh, you're not going to find any mascarpone cheese when you dig in. You're going to be eating just cookies. If you make it too thick, you're going to run out of mascarpone cheese. So I like to call it a nice healthy layer. Um, cover all the cookies generously. Let's say that. Let's say that. Generously cover all the cookies with your mascarpone mixture. Okay. Oh boy, this is going to be really good. I know it. Now what I like to do is I like to take a little bit of cocoa and I'm going to sprinkle some cocoa on this first layer. Cocoa is a key. Um, it adds good flavor and it also goes on to the top when we're done. So, but I like to also include it in the middle of my tiramisu for just a little bit of that extra cocoa flavor. And you know, you just want to sprinkle enough to, I'm not going to say completely cover it, but scattered scattered there we go okay now same process take your cookie dunk it into your black coffee let it sit for a second or two till it gets saturated there we go and we place that on top and i'm going to continue doing this for the second layer uh, of this tiramisu there we go second layer another 10 cookies and another coat them again with our mascarpone cheese same process whoops just get them covered up nicely and you will see that i will have more than enough mascarpone mixture here to make this particular size tiramisu 
And in case you're tuning in, Dino and then Kiru, uh, friends of mine, I am making this tiramisu for you guys. So if you're tuning in, this is the one. It's always nice to, um, to bake and cook for friends and family, that's for sure. We still have lots of uh, mascarpone mixture here left over. So what I'm gonna do with that, I'm gonna make another tiramisu and I am going to uh, freeze it. This one, I'm gonna finish off now with maybe a little bit more cocoa on the top. It makes for a great presentation, but it also adds that nice little cocoa flavor to your tiramisu and it really, really uh, makes a difference. So I'm going to be a little more generous than I was in the middle. There we have it. So um, what we do now, I will take this tiramisu and put it in the refrigerator. And this, it'll be great to serve tonight, but it'll be even better served tomorrow. If you can make this the day in advance, always great but if not you can do it in the morning it doesn't take long the whole thing comes together really really quickly cover it with some plastic wrap and put it in the refrigerator and all those flavors are going to sit and develop and by tomorrow this is going to be absolutely amazing for that matter even by tonight so if you get an opportunity the classic italian tiramisu the koya way give this an opportunity give this recipe a try you're going to love it we're going to absolutely enjoy this delicious every time Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, good luck and bon appetit.